Greetings, I'm Kathy Green with Christian News and Interviews. You know, there's a scripture, 1 Peter 5.8, that says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, roams around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And so I share that scripture because it starts off by saying be sober. In other words, don't be drunk, don't be high, have a clear mind, not a double mind, because a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways, but have a clear mind so you can think straight, so that you won't fall prey to the predator. And I say that because a comedian who I am not familiar with, Fuquan Johnson, has just died, not just him, but some of his friends too, um, from a drug overdose. Listen to this. A batch of fentanyl-laced cocaine killed comedian and two a comedian and two others and left the ex-girlfriend of Darius Rucker in a Los Angeles hospital, a report said. Fuquan Johnson, writer for Comedy Parlor Live, died after overdosing at a um, Venus home Friday night, according to TMZ. Two other victims were pronounced dead at the scene, the outlet said. Well, let me pause there and say that not one person who went to that party that night was suicidal, I'm sure. All of them thought that they would walk out with their lives. I'll continue. Comedian Kay Quigley, who lives next door to the house, recently dated the Hootie and the Blowfish singer, was uh, hospitalized in critical condition, according to the report. So that drug hit all of them. Let me skip down a little bit. Fentanyl, a synthetic painkiller that is up to a hundred times more potent than heroin. Did you hear me? A hundred times more potent than heroin has been a factor in the death deaths of Prince, Mac Miller, and Tom Petty. In 2019, fentanyl was involved in more than two-thirds of all New York City drug overdoses. Data showed social media users have been warning of tainted coke making the rounds in the city's party scene this spring and summer. Okay, let me stop there because I'm going to post the article below anyway. God has never given bad advice. He just, he just never has. And so the Holy Spirit in 1 Peter 5.8 Starts off by saying, be sober. Even when I was in college, I think I got, I remember um, I went out with some friends of mine when I was in college. And uh, I drank one pina colada too many. I was drinking it because it was it, it was sweet. It tasted good. Um, and I got drunk. And I remember I was so sick. I was, my head wasn't just going, just spinning. And I remember, I remember saying, Lord, if you get me through this, I'll never drink again. And that was, uh, I, I can tell you, I never drank again. That was it. That was the end of my drinking career. <laughs> I've been sober ever since. And in terms of drugs, I've never had an interest. The, the only drug I've ever taken was alcohol. And um, I'm such a, a coward. Getting drunk once was enough for me. I was sick. I was sick. But in terms of, of, of cocaine and all that kind of crazy stuff, never. No thanks. Fuquan Johnson and his friends, all of whom are now either deceased or in the hospital, went to that party thinking that they were going to have, quote unquote, fun. The thought never occurred to them that they wouldn't walk out. So take this as a public service announcement. Take Nancy, Nancy Reagan's advice. 
say no to drugs. Take God's advice. Be sober. Be vigilant. Have a good evening.